Morocco in Brazil, a country I still haven't been able to get to. I think I've told this story before. I was headed to Brazil. I didn't realize you needed a visa, showed up ready to go, and the airline people said, yeah, right. No visa, no ticky, out of here. So <laughs> they sent me packing. Mm. But I'm going to get to Brazil one of these days, and now I know you need a visa. Okay. Uh, he says, hey, Paul, I'm considering adding an FM tuner to my audio system. Okay. Um, there's still some decent FM stations out there, I would imagine. Um, is there a chance that after I add a tuner to my setup that I could get interference of radio signals into my system? Mm -hmm. Asking this since I had problems with interference before, especially from the turntable to phono preamp, and was only able to solve after I found a coax shielded RCA cable for this run. Since I live in an apartment, I would need to set up an indoor FM antenna as well, and most likely uh, a Turk. Yeah, Turks, Turks are good stuff. Well, the short answer is no, not to worry whatsoever. The fact that you are bringing an FM signal into a tuner keeps it all within the tuner, and the amplification of that antenna and FM should never bother anything else in the system, for sure. I think people get confused because I can't tell you years ago how, ma how many times uh, when I was playing a turntable I would um, get a CB radio or radio interference would be coming through the turntable and it'd drive you crazy. We, we, we were at CES one year I think it was the first year that maybe that we did. Anyway, we, it was the last day of the show, and we had uh, a turntable and our new power amplifier, and everything was set up real nice, and we were playing it. I think it was the last hour of the show, thank goodness. And right at the last minute, some CB guy, and you know what? I bet a lot of people don't know what CB radio is. Citizens Band Radio. Used to be the rage before cell phones and all this people had these CB radios, and they were like uh, mobile radios in cars, and they're, hey, good buddy, you know, it's uh, John Wilco. You know, I don't know what the heck, I never had a CB radio. <laughs> but some of them, and, and they were limited in power, they only had like three or four watts. So these guys would buy these giant 250, 300 watt pirate radio kits, and they'd put it in their car, and they would blast this CB signal out from their car, trying to reach their buddy in Milwaukee or whatever. And so here we are playing at the last hour in the show, and some nut job goes, ow, 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 and they, it blew the amp up. <laughs> it just, it just, we had so much RF interference on that old amp that it, it literally blew the amp up. And we said, um, time to pack up and go home. <laughs> but, uh, it, it wasn't because we were trying to, uh, th that was a problem in the amplifier that we later fixed, but you won't have a problem at all. So enjoy your FM tuner and <laughs> thanks for the question and I'll talk to you later. Bye.